Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Reverend here. The Rhino here. The beer here. Bud Light Platinum. Luckily, we were able to get a single of this in the U.S. because I wouldn't want to have more than one of these. 6% alcohol, um, so... You don't want to have more than half of one of these. What, the, what this is showing is that Bud Light has become its own company. It is not... It is not... It's own thing it's now its own brand it's uh bud light platinum six percent alcohol on the I back like here it does not have the alcohol it doesn't have a sorry nutritional information who knows what the uh what the oh, calories are on this but the higher the alcohol the higher the cal caloric intake for the most part um bud light is four percent alcohol usually uh even say Guinness, like we were just talking about to our viewers, is 4.2, but Guinness is a lower caloric intake than this than Bud Light is. So Bud Light Platinum, I would guess, is fairly high. Again, 6% alcohol. Fair minimum alcohol. double if that's... How much is this? This Ten? is 6. Oh, okay, so at least a third higher. Um, guess beautiful right. blue color. It looks like the uh, same blue that uh, Cronenberg Blanche used. Oh, yeah, Sky Vodka. Yeah, this, well, there's a Sky Vodka bottle back there. Yeah, it's the same version of color. Yeah. yeah. That's it. If the internet can see that far back, I'm not sure if they can. No. It's actually almost exactly the same as that as well. Oh. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much the same color, too. Yeah, it's actually, yeah. 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 Other than the fact like, that that is see through and this is not. Bud Light Platinum contains 137 cal calories. Ooh, somebody's on the ball for us. Or the U. Huh? That you? Or That's someone else. Ah, well, right. Looking us up. Love you guys. 37 calories. Where do so we that, know the horns were? It's one of the few hats I haven't worn today. That is less, well, sorry, that is more than Bud Light regular. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, 137 calories is hitting around the same mark that most regular beers hit. Most regular beers are hitting between 120 and 180. So, how are you calling yourself light? Unless you're thinking you're light for a 6% uh, alcohol beer. But even so, if you take out all the corn and sugar and everything else, you're not as light as a regular craft brew. But anyway, again, not thinking about that, thinking about the beer itself. Yeah, but I think you might be right on the name that it is now. It's just Bud Light. Similar how it used to be much music. Well, like, Bud much. Light Lime. Bud There's Light, Bud Light, Light Lime Mojito. Yeah. Bud Light Lime Arita is 8% yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Looks, I mean, it looks, looks like, like a regular just beer. separated as a company, yeah. that's all. Yeah. A little bit ahead on mine, none on yours. Yeah. Mine's sticking around, but I really did pour mine. I just poured it. Mm. Smells just like your average product. Mm. Nothing really standing out, nothing in offensive way, nothing in a great way. No, just... even out of the bottle, you're not getting really anything. Um, It smells like your average bud product. I mean, a little lighter smelling just because of all the rice, but... I would like to I, I'm kind of curious if this one is 49% rice, like regular bud. Yeah. I would actually be very curious to know that. Yeah. Let's try it. We will find out. You should know right away. It's very much lighter than a normal beer. Yeah. So I would say there's at least like 30 to 40 percent rice in there. That's weird. Yeah. This is odd for that being like. This was what they're more alcoholic light beer they're trying to do like. We want it to be light, and you can just kind of chug her down, but you're going to get smashed. Because obviously most people are like, oh, like light beers, I can't get drunk off them without drinking a bunch. Like, is that what they're trying to do here? Oh, my friend, the corn. <laughs> yeah, you can taste the corn in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, but is that what they're trying to do? They're trying to make the, like, it's still a light beer, but you're going to get smashed? That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah. Usually it's, it's, like it's, a, it's, a, it's a corn fortified light beer. Mm. As stupid as that sounds, that's pretty much what they've made. Weird. Bravo, by the way. Corn and Weird. rice, though. I don't even... Truthfully, I mean, they talk about malted barley on their case, and I only know that because I've seen a case online, but it doesn't taste like there's much malted barley whatsoever. It's very light, very easy drinking, very tasteless, even. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugar, like a little bit of sweetness, but nothing being else. being the, the terrifying wake-up, if you drink a bunch of these, you have the shittiest hangover possible. Oh, yeah. you well, figure nothing's going wrong. Like, oh, people have asked me before, what's my least favorite brewery? And I always say Labatt. Slash Amheuser Busch. Amheuser Busch owns Labatt. My biggest problem is that this is the worst hangover I ever have. A Labatt product and a Bush product. Worst hangovers I've ever had. Worst. <laughs> like, I know you love your Labatt Blue, but truthfully, I would rather drink a Molson product than a, 
the bat product. Not as much because of the taste, because truthfully, they taste quite a lot alike. Yep. It's one of them I wake up with a hangover that feels like I'm dead. One of them I wake up and I'm just a little slower than usual. Yep. Uh, um, the novel where I am uh, not in the fact of like, oh, because I drink blue and all the crap, which, internet, you know I do. But the amount that I drink and the already stomach problems I have, none of them really kind of coincide with each other to make like, oh, that's probably why. In general, I like yesterday, I didn't go at all. I didn't drink anything, still woke up this morning, barfing my face off. Because my insides just don't fucking like me. So there isn't really much of a difference between drinking this kind of stuff, waking up with a terrible hangover, and be like, oh, I gotta go throw up and I feel like shit. Or the like, hey, I stayed home and relaxed all day long, waking up and gonna go barf my face off and feel like a bag of shit. So if you have terrible inside problems, Ugh, this is still me. okay for you. <laughs> Truthfully, yeah, here. it tastes like corn and nothing else, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing offensive, nothing great about it. I'm going to give it a 5-5. Five, five. I like the bottle color. I like the... Yeah. I like Presentation. The yeah, presentation awesome. I'll give it a fucking 8. But, um, yeah, so taste-wise, it, it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. Whatever, 5-5 five, five from me. Thank you, YouTube. 5-5 five, five from both of us. Bye. Yeah.